Sing Chiu's is one of the most broken characters in Genshin Impact, despite being only a 4 star character instead of a 5 star character. In fact, he's one of the only characters who have ever gotten a nerf in the history of Genshin Impact. In the original 1.1 Klee patch of Genshin Impact, Sing Chiu's elemental burst actually got nerfed in terms of the amount of hydro application that it applied. It originally applied 60 units of hydro over the duration of its elemental burst. However, that has now been reduced to only 24, which means that that it's been nerfed almost half entirely, in fact more than half. But what exactly makes this character so broken? Why is he so strong? That's what we're gonna take a look today. There isn't any particular reason why I decided to talk about this character today other than I feel like it. And you guys know what else you should feel like doing? Subscribing to the channel, it'll help out a lot. Anyway, let's get started. Sinchu has the best hydro application in the entire Genshin Impact when it comes down to a single target. And pretty much every single team in Genshin Impact that wants some sort of hydro application usually always defer to Sing Chiu's first, especially since that he can actually do all of those while being your off-field characters, which means he's not even going to be the character who is actively on the field attacking. Pretty much every single pyro character in the game is dependent on Sing Chiu's because, well, they all want hydro application. So characters like Yomiya, the Luke, or Hu Tao's, and to some extent, Xiang Ling as well. And while he does that really, really well, a lot of players in Genshin Impact thinks that he is only broken because of, well, the amount of hydro that he applied, aka he make you very wet. And in the process, they forget pretty much about every single aspect about this character that also make him extremely broken. For example, did you know that despite not having any kind of setup or reactions tied into his kit, Sing Chiu's, individually speaking, actually have one of the highest single target damage in the game. For example, if we take a look at the breakdown for a really popular single target team, Raiden National, you can actually see that Sing Chiu's does 22% of the overall team damage, despite only using 13% of the field time because your Sing Chiu's just has to cast his elemental skill and elemental burst and he can swap out but he can yet still contribute a ridiculous amount of damage for how little field time he put in. Keep in mind that this is without setup. Sing Chiu's is not doing any kind of reaction here. Sing Chiu's is not really getting benefit buff here since he doesn't snapshot. This is just basically raw Sing Chiu's damage and he just does a lot of damage. Sing Chiu's is one of the best standalone character in Genshin Impact being one of the only character who can truly self-sustain himself meaning that no no matter what you do, you can put a Sing Chiu's into your team and he'll work completely fine 100% of the time. As long as you bring a Sack Sword onto him. But as long as you have a Sack Sword, you cast your elemental skill twice, you will be able to cast your elemental burst very, very easily most of the time. Which just means that no matter what team you put him in, he will function. Unlike many of the other characters in the game who also depended on another specific support, like Shangling is really glued to Bennett because she needs energy or so on. If you ever run into a scenario where you're like, hmm, I'm I'm not really sure what character to put in the last slot of my party. Well, guess what? There's a 95% chances that you can just put a Sing Chiu's in and he will function really, really well and often better than a lot of the other choices as long as you can properly trigger his elemental burst, which just means you have to normal attack using your active characters, which uh, some character doesn't do that, unfortunately. But for most of the characters in the game, because they will always be normal attacking, you can trigger Sing Chiu's reliably. In fact, anytime that you're looking for single target damage, there is a 80% chance that putting in Sing Chiu's will increase your overall damage output. That's including freeze character like Ayaka. In fact, doing Ayaka and Sing Chiu's pairing for single target is a really, really, really good option that's lots of people still underrated to this day. But why does Sing Chiu's do so much damage, aside from the fact that he just have really, really good scaling on his elemental burst? Well, even though Sing Chiu's is a completely, perfectly good character at Constellation Zero, each of his constellations actually make him scale dramatically hard. Harder. Unlike most of the more recent characters where their constellation sometimes doesn't even work or other time just try to fix a problem in the character when they shouldn't really have problem to begin with. Starting off with Sing Chiu's A4 talent that just give him 20% hydro damage bonus. But if you've been playing Genshin Impact for a while or you're into fear crafting, you'll know that damage bonus is the best start in Genshin Impact. That is because it is also the most rare start, pretty much not appearing in any of the artifact substat and only appearing in your goblet main start. And because of that, damage bonus just scale hardest in Genshin Impact because of the lack of sources in the game, much harder than Critical Strike or Attack can possibly do, for the most part at the very least. Moving on to the C2 of Sing Chiu's, C2 Sing Chiu's decrease the opponent hydro resistance by 15%. And what do you know, decrease opponent resistance is also one of the hardest stats to find in the game, only appearing in so many sources, usually comforting through the BB set for animal characters, which is the exact reason why they're so 
broken. And here, Sing Shields can do that 15%, which is also really, really good, and just increase the amount of Hydro damage he does by so much. So, Resistance Shred is just one of the most insane stats in the game, and conveniently for Sing Shields, he also has it. But do you know what else he also has? True damage increase. The constellation 4 of Sing Shields read that it will increase the amount dealt by his fatal rain screen by 50%. But little they know, or little the people know, that this is actually a ridiculous constellation. That is because this scale dramatically different than any other damage increase you can see in the game. This right here is one of the only source of a true damage increase in Genshin Impact. That means that it actually actively multiply your damage by 1.5 instead of just increasing your damage damage that stuff, which is additive to your whatever other damage bonuses. Sing Chiu's elemental skill have a really really good scaling. At my level, which is level 11, it does about 700% scaling, which is a lot for a elemental skill, and it just nuke enemy down. But when you add in pretty much every other things, like especially his constellation for that is a true multiplier of a 1.5, and then you add in other stuff like Bennett, which is very often ran together with Sing Chiu's, who can buff Sing Chiu's attack by a lot, as well as supply pirate for his elemental skill to vaporize, you can actually destroy enemy just using Sing Chiu's elemental skill. It is not very uncommon to just straight out one shot enemy using Sing Chiu's elemental skill alone, simply because the amount of nuke damage in his elemental skill is just so high. Oh, and because you usually always run Sack Sword, you can actually cast this twice. That means you can nuke enemy down twice in a row to do just so much damage in the game. There are several other factors that contribute to why Sing Chiu does so much damage, such as his best insult artifact set being the album of the Surrupted Fate set, which just happened to be Genjin Impact best artifact set in their entire game. But overall, Sing Chiu just does a ridiculous amount of damage, but we're actually not done yet. So what I'm about to tell you is that aside from being able to apply one of the highest amount of Hydro in the game, but also doing one of the highest single target damage in the game, he actually has more to his kit. That's right, he actually does. Aside from the amount of Hydro application that Sing Chiu has, as well as the amount of offensive that he has, he actually also has a a really huge amount of defensive utility. Starting off with his elemental skill, when you use this skill, you will create rain sword that will orbit you, which will also apply even more hydro. But the thing that this thing also do is actually give you damage reduction. Here you can see that it can actually give you up to 24% damage reduction. And this thing here lasts 15 seconds with a 21 second cooldown, which means that it has more or less like a 75% uptime. So you'll be actively taking less damage, which is just really, really good for your survival ability. But the sword also just happen to heal you as well. With Constellation 1, you can actually get up to 4 Rain Sword on your Sing Chiu's Elemental skill, which means that you can easily heal for 24% of your max HP, which is a really good amount of healing. Obviously, it is not as much as a dedicated healer, but it is enough to get Pi for a lot of the people. Keep in mind that because you're going to be taking less damage through the damage reduction that he has on his Elemental skills, you actually need less healing as well, simply because, well, you took less damage, so there's less to heal. But Sing Chiu's Elemental skill also provides something else other than healing and damage reduction. Yeah, we're the list keep going on. He also increased your character resistance to interruption, which is really good for trying to do damage as well as preventing yourself from getting comboed by the enemy. Interrupt resistance in Genshin Impact prevent you from getting knocked down or juggled by enemy in the game. Sometimes when you get knocked down, uh, you will lose DPS uptime because well, when you're on the floor, you can attack the enemy. Or other times when you are knocked down, the enemy does a follow-up attack and therefore you take even more damage. There's a really big reason why Raiden Shogun is largely preferred by a lot of people in Genshin Impact. That's because her elemental burst grants her infinite interrupt to resistance, which means that she practically speaking enters god mode during the duration of her elemental burst as you are completely immune to any kind of CC dealt by your enemy. In fact, we can quickly demonstrate the effect of interrupt resistance by fighting against this enemy right here. You can see that that attack easily knocked me down when I'm playing Hu Tao. Carefully observe what happened after we add the Sing Chiu's Rain Sword onto our characters. From there, you can see that by adding in Sing Chiu's Rain Sword, my Hu Tao actually did not get knocked down by the same attack performed by the enemy, which means I'm free to DPS him and further continue my rotation, or I just prevent myself from getting attacked by his follow-up attack with whatever it is. Overall, Sing Chiu's just have way too much builds into his kits, again, making him one of the only character who has ever gotten a nerf in the history of Genjin Impact. Can you imagine if he actually have 60 units of application on his elemental burst? 
he will be deleting those Pyro Abyss Lecture in seconds instead of two seconds right now. But yeah, he also have ridiculous amount of damage, but also ridiculous amount of defensive utility and so many things that other characters just doesn't have, making him one of the most overpowered characters in the entire game, despite only being a four star character that everyone can get. In fact, in the most recent event, they actually even gave him out for free to every single player in Genshin Impact, making him really, really accessible. It is important for us to recognize why Sinchus is so broken, and unfortunately, no character ever in Genshin Impact is ever going to come close to that. So this means that, well, we will never get a character similar to Sinchus ever in Genshin Impact. Maybe at the very least. Who knows, maybe one day they decide to just power creep characters, and well, we will see how that goes. But with that being said, that is the end of the video. Just a quick reminder that I do stream a lot of days on Twitch. Don't forget to follow me over there. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.